Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I have a short little Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I picked up a few things the other day. Um, actually, I forgot that I picked up the other day. So they were over on my floor here in a bag. So I figured I'd show these to you guys and also have a really quick and easy DIY I want to put up that goes with kind of my um, summer decor that I'm trying to get done because, you know, it's like summer already. But anyway, I saw these. They had these out. I want to get them before they're gone. And these are the rakes. Um, I got them mainly to do some fall DIYs with, so I figure I better get them now because you know how it goes at Dollar Tree. Um, and I think they're probably a pretty good little rake if you just wanted to do some light, you know, things. It's, you know, not for a big job or anything. But it's just called a leaf rake. And then, of course, you got to get the little pole that goes on here. So I picked up another one of those, too. And... They have them hanging right next to them in most stores. Sometimes I can't find the poles. They'll have all this stuff and no poles. But anyway, I picked up two of these. I'm thinking these will be fun to do something for in the fall. But if you want to do something with them in the fall, you might want to look for them now. Because you guys know, things come and go at Dollar Tree um, really quick. I don't have any goodies here. I didn't buy any junk food. Um, I just ran in and out the other day because I mainly needed something. I need... You know, when you mainly need something, you find something else. But anyway, I did pick up two of these glasses. Well, they're not actually glass. These are plastic they had in the summer section. I just thought these would be so pretty. And, um, you know, something I wouldn't mind taking outside with me in the summer on the patio and stuff because it's concrete. And, you know, with the dogs and stuff running around, things happen. Or even if little P wants to throw it off of the, <laughs> the counter, it probably won't break. And then I love this one. I love the ones with the popsicle. I want to make some popsicle decor, too. I think that is so pretty. I've seen a lot of it, um, and I don't have any. So I'm going to have to figure out something to do with that. But these are really, really tall. Um, it doesn't say. It just It's just called a tumbler. Uh, it does not have how much it holds. But they're very, very tall, as you can see. I get paint all over my hands because I started working on my project here and while that's drying I kind of cut over to work on this so I'm a mess today. Uh, let's see, I did pick up one of these little doggy goodies here, kitty goodies, I'm lying, these are cat pounds. I just feel very rushed today, I have so much to do. Tomorrow we have um, 8 a.m. doctor's appointments and then 10, 11.30 vet appointments for two of my dogs. So it's just another crazy week, there's always something. Anyway, these are kitty cat treats. And these are the pounce moist. So I don't know if she's going to like that. My cat is so picky on her goodies. She just snubs her nose. She likes some of the dry treats in a bag, but only certain ones out of the dry treats in the bag. So the rest of them she just kind of leaves. But I don't know. Maybe she'll like those. I'll give it a try. Why not? Um, and then I found these down in the Crafter Square section. I thought these were really nice. Excuse me. And these are the metal... Um, little metal signs with like the wreath around it. This one's all bent up now. I don't know if it's from being in my bag or what. But I just thought that was real cool. This one says home in it and it has a little uh, jute string hanger. And yeah, I just thought that would be nice. You could use this like on a wreath, on a sign, all kinds of things. Not sure what I'm going to do, but I figured I'd grab it. And then this one um, says welcome and it has like flowers all the way around it and some flowers down here. And yeah, it's that like galvanized metal. What are they calling these? Just metal sign. That's all they're calling these. Alright. And I finally, I'm telling you guys have been telling me about these since like two months ago. Finally found a B plate. This is the first store that has any, had anything. They still haven't had any of the towels or anything like that. This is the only thing I've seen so far this year as far as the bees and this little coffee mug. So I was really happy to find these. I mean, I don't need a ton more of them anyway, but I just thought they were cool because I was doing a lot of things with bees this year. So finally, finally, finally found those. So I'm real happy about that. But that was it. That's all I had was the plate and the coffee cup. Um, let's see. Let's get back in here to summer. I picked up two of these paper lanterns. I got this one that says America the Beautiful. And it just opens up like that. It has the little um, light on there that you have to turn on. Um, oh, and this one says two AAA batteries not included. Oh, I didn't even realize. I thought that was just like one of those regular ones that they always have. 
Oh well, this one you have to add batteries to, two triple A's. But I thought this would be fun for the 4th of July or Labor Day or either or, or and. And then I like this one too. So I don't know how big they are, does it say? I don't want to open this up until um, I'm ready to use it, but I'm not sure. But they look like they'll be a pretty decent size. And then I also picked up this case too for sunglasses for the summer. And I love these cases. I have one of these that I've had for years. They hold up like crazy. And they're nice, you know, they have a nice, really soft, like, almost felted on the inside. And it just kind of snaps open. I love these. Um, and they had a bunch of different, different patterns for the patriotic style here. What else did I get? Anything? Oh, these I found in the red, white, and blue section there. And these are the bead garlands. They had them in the blue, and they had them in the red. You get 180 inches in here, and they had them in the white. And I figured you can use these any time of the year. You could use these for Christmas, you know, whatever. It doesn't just have to be for 4th of July or for summer. That blue is really pretty, though. So I got these to put away in my stash. I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but we're going to put that away. And let's see, what else crafty things did I get? Oh, these. I haven't seen this. This is like... Um, kind of like the chalkboard kind of thing here on this like little coffee cup and it's just called decor and this was down where they have all the wood things in the crafter square section so I thought that was really cool to do something with and I got this apple and I thought that was really nice too I'm already thinking fall I know it's only June but you know what last year I got so far behind and I started like in August with my fall stuff and I still didn't get it all made in time it just takes a lot of time to get all this stuff made. So, I picked up an apple. That's a nice big one, too. And I did grab two more of these, so now I have four of these little lanterns. Because I want to do some of these for fall, and I want to do some of these for Christmas time. So I figured while I see them, I'm going to pick them up. And they're really nice. Um, I got a couple a couple weeks ago. But they real, laid up real pretty. So... Yeah, I want to make something with these for both holidays this year. So I figured I'd grab a couple more. Because I only have a little space on my... Um, I have an electric fireplace out there. Or TV sits on, actually. And not a lot of room to put anything. And these would fit nice on there. So that's what I want to do with those. And what else did we get here? Oh, I picked up this little love sign. I thought that was real pretty. This was down in the candle like It's more like they're having all the little wedding things now. But... You could use this for anything. You could use it, you know, like for a child's picture, whatever, for a nice little gift for somebody. Um, you could paint it or leave it, whatever you want to do. It's just really nice. It's a nice, heavy, <coughs> excuse me, thick plastic frame. So, I got one of those, and then I picked up one of these they had hanging in the little toy section there. And these seem to be the big deal this year, is these little, what are they calling this one? They're calling this a popper bracelet for sensory... Um, and these are really cool. Kids love to mess around and fiddle with these. And well, not even just kids. I mean, everybody. I can sit and play with these for, like, ever. But it's like a little bracelet you could put on and, you know, have on your wrist here to sit and pop away. So I thought those were real cute. They had a bunch of, so many different ones of those things right now. And I did pick up four of these peel and stick removable tile decals. I just thought this was gorgeous. I have no clue what I'm going to do with them yet, but it's just the color, the colors just caught my eye, and I thought, I have to find something to do with these. They're just so pretty. So I picked up four, and I think they're, um, does it say, yes it does. Oh, they're 8 inch by 8 inch squares, so that's pretty cool. And you don't have the black border, it just pops off like right here like that, so I really love this. I don't know what I want to do with it. I wish I had a wall I wanted to put it on, but I don't. <laughs> It's just so pretty. So I'm going to have to find something to do with that. And let's see. i got a couple more things here to show you guys. I'm going to go grab little P and bring him in here for a minute so I can get finished up on showing you this quick little DIY that I have. Alright, little P. Come say hi to everyone. Yeah, I know. i got paint on my finger. He looks, you know, he want to go see what you can steal already. Well, that's why I left that there. So you think you're getting in trouble. I know. Everything's jammed in there. You can't get it out. There you go. Are you being antisocial today? Are you going to turn around? Say hello to everyone. 
All right, nope, you're not even in frame here. Come over here. I don't want to move my camera again because I want to finish working on this DIY here. I have both set for that. <laughs> what do you think? Say good morning, everybody, or afternoon, and I'm out of here. I'm going to go climb up the tripod. All right. Well, while you're shaking everybody around there, I'm going to show you guys what I got here real quick. I did pick up one of these um, facial brushes, these little silicone. I think these will be great. Uh, I'm going to give these a try anyway. Do a little scrub in here. But it's just called Facial Brush, April Bath and Shower. <laughs> no, pee! Oh my goodness. Come here, you little stinker. He literally just grabbed my jar back there that I have water, and then I just put paintbrushes in. No, you just love to make a mess, don't you? No, 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 I'm going to have to move that. All right, that's out of your way. Find something else to do. Let me move the glue sticks. Where are you going? Why is everything over there more interesting than what's over here? <laughs> so bad. Oh, I picked up a set of these little um, mini tweezers. I thought these were real great, like if you want to throw them in your purse or whatever. These are a really a nice little size, and it has like little um, pointed tips, slanted tip, and then it has your flat edge. So we're going to give those a try. Now, you don't want to unplug everybody here. What are you doing, crazy boy? Um, but I thought those were really cute. Those would be a nice little gift idea, too. Uh, and I also picked up two of these. You are being such a brat. You know, people want to see you, and you're back there shaking them around. Two of the... Um, SPF 30 uh, Banana Boat Sport. I love to have these. Toss these in your purse, whatever. Keep one in the car because I burn like crazy if I don't have sunscreen. You know, if I'm going to be out in the sun for more than five minutes, um, mainly because of my blood pressure medication. But, yeah, these are great to throw in. You are such a stinker. Come here. <laughs> oh, you're being so bad. Okay, well, the last thing here I want to show you guys is this. I thought this was really nice. They had this in with the um, candle holders. I can't even read this. I don't know if they're considering, but this is like a, I don't know, it looks like concrete. It's probably like a painted plaster, but it's just called, it. yeah, they are calling it a candle holder. But I, how cute would this look with maybe a few little stones, now i got to get back together right, a few little stones in there and a little succulent. I thought that would just look really sharp. So that's probably what I'm going to do with this. And I will show you guys if I ever get around to it. <laughs> because that's just the way my life's going this week again. I need a week where we have nothing else to do but sit here in the craft room and play. What do you think? Do you want to just sit in the craft room and play? You know you're not going over there. Do you want to just like rip my sponge up? No. All right. You are just... <laughs> He's quick too. This little bugger can run really fast, can't you? Here, we'll start way up over here. Now what? You're going to get my ruler? Come on. I brought you in here so everyone could say hi to you. Yes, and you're just being... Say, I'm being crazy. I am wound up this morning. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey. All right, well, we're going to go since you don't want to sit still here and tell everybody... We'll see you next time. But we're going to be right back here and finish up my, well, I haven't started it for you guys, but I already did start painting that. It's drying. And I'm going to finish up that DIY for you. All right, so this is my quick and easy little project here I'm going to do today. That's why I figured I'd share this here in with another video because this is going to take, like, no time at all. I picked up this ball jar, oh, gosh, uh, quite a while ago. I got it at the thrift store, um, I want to say, like, a year and a half or so ago. But this is the perfect size for this. I'm going to make this into like a little vase. Um, I'm going to use some of the burlap trim from Dollar Tree. I'm actually going to use this when I took it off. But you can find this in the uh, floral garden section there. Um, I'm going to use some of these boxwoods that I get at Walmart. I'm going to use three bunches of those. Um, I really love these. I have to go get more because I've been using these like crazy. And then I'm also going to use some of these lemons, because I want this to fit in with all my lemon decor that I wanted to get done this year, which I still am working on here. But I saw this on a magazine. It was, I was in line at the grocery store a while ago. I couldn't tell you which magazine it was on. It was on, like, the cover of some kind of decorating thing. Um, and I just thought it was so cute. 
it was probably, I don't remember, I really honestly don't remember, but I thought, oh, that is a great idea. So I'm going to paint this with the Sheepskin Color Folk Art Chalk Paint. Um, mine's really thick here because I left it in this jar covered up, and it got a little bit thick, so I added some water to it. But I'm just going to put two coats of this on here. I like to just kind of smear it around really quick because this can make it go real fast here. And then I like to go over it just go like this because I love the little bit of texture um, that that gives it with these sponge brushes. It's not a lot. It's not like you're going to have giant bumps of anything, but um, I just like the look of the texture. So I'm probably going to give this two coats. Try to get in these words here. But this is just a nice size. This is the wide mouth. Um, what's the whole two cups or more? I can't see now that I painted over top of it. But this is one of the bigger ones. And like I said, you just smear this stuff on here, and this will be a really quick and easy project. I'm not worrying about it too much up here because I'm going to put my jute string up there and my the decorative ribbon. So I really don't need that painted too much. But that's it. I just go back over it and just kind of dab it on there so you don't see any of those streaks. And you don't have any brush stroke marks, you know, like if you paint it with a paintbrush or whatever. And, um, yeah, this is the hardest part of the whole project, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> and I just love the look. So hoping mine comes out as good as the one that I saw because I really, really liked it. And you could do the bottom, too. I don't think I'm even going to bother because you're never going to see it. But, I mean, if you were, like, making this for a gift for somebody or something, you'd probably want to go ahead and finish off the bottom. But it's really, really not necessary. So, I'm going to let this dry up here now. I just want to make sure I get it underneath this rim. And um, then, of course, i got a hair in it. Then I'm just going to go over it with one more coat after this dries. The second coat I don't usually smear it on because I'm always afraid I'm going to rub off some of the paint underneath. The second coat I'm just going to go ahead and dab it on like this. But, yeah, that's it. So I just have to wait for this to dry here now so I can give it a second coat and then we can finish this up real quick. Alright guys, I had the second coat on here and I let that dry while we were doing that Dollar Tree haul. I know it's all mixed up here for me, but not for you guys. So, I want to take a piece of sandpaper. I really wanted to use my sanding block, which I cannot find. I'm going to have to get a couple more of those because I keep using them for other things around the house and then they don't get put back. But anyway, I have some sandpaper here and I just want to sand off and this will be so much easier with my sanding block because I don't want to... I just want to take a little bit off of where the ball thing is here. I just thought that would look cool, make it stand out just a little bit more, but if I had my sanding block, it would just go on here nice and flat, and I wouldn't have to worry about scraping any of the other paint. I don't want it all off, just, you know, enough to... There we go. A little bit off more over here, just to make that stand out a little more. I don't even know. Well, no, I don't think I want to scrape that off. But I just thought that looked cool. That just makes that ball just stand out a little more. And you could do it on this back side where it has this too. But I'm not going to bother doing that um, because, like I said, this is going to be sitting up on my shelf and I'm not going to see that anyway. But you could also do the little, because it has like little grapes and pears and all kinds of cute little things on the back of it. And um, I might take a little off of here too. Just to kind of go with the one up there. Thank you. 
Yeah, I think that's good enough, just to make it look a little aged up there. I was going to also, I was thinking about putting like some lemon decoupage on here, but I want to leave this simple because I can use this again for any time of the year because nothing's going to be glued inside of it or anything, so the stuff I'm putting in there I can take right back out. So I'm going to start on the back here and start gluing on some of this really pretty um, burlap trim. Like I said, you get three different kinds on here from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to start it back here right up. Let's see, this way I want it to go, so I need to start at the other end. Um, right up here on the tippy top, I'm going to start this. Where are my scissors? I just want to trim this little end off here, make it even. Yeah, I think that's the way I want it. Oh no, this is actually the front side of this. All right. There's a, more of a flat side, and then this would actually be the front. All right. So I am just going to start gluing this up here. Around this rim, you want one of your little finger protectors here so you don't stick your fingers in the glue. And I figured I could do two rows of this up here, that would be perfect. So you just want to do a little bit at a time because your hot glue will cool off real quick on the glass. right here and glue this end down there we go and then I'm going to start right up here underneath it I might have to lay this down to do it um, I'm just going to glue some in here Look how pretty that is. I love this trim. I hope they come out with some different styles. You know, because sometimes you don't need like a whole giant roll of it either, so this is just perfect. That fits up under there really nice. I'm loving this trim. And got a little left over. Alright, so then we're going to put this up here. There we go. Yeah, there's no black things in there. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And I'm also going to add a bow of jute string. So we're just going to take, I think I want to make a double bow. This stuff is really, really curly. Um, but I'm going to double this up here. This is just some of that um, jute string that I get at um, Walmart. It's the four ply number 72. Or you could use, you know, you could use the um, jute string from Dollar Tree. You might want to do like three instead of maybe two. But I'm just going to double that up. And there we go. Just make a pretty little bow. And hopefully I can get that to straighten out a little bit. Might have to wet it. Although it's straightening out pretty good. Alright, let's see. Maybe a little smaller bow. I don't want to put it right on the front. I'm going to put this off to the side. So it doesn't cover up. I think I'll put it off to this side. I think that'll look cute. Take out some of these little sticky things that are in here. Alright, let me cut this off. Don't want really long tails. Whoa! Can't make up my mind which side. Actually, I think I'm gonna go over here. 
I just can't make up my mind. All right, so we're going to go over here. Just to add a little something more to it. There, and then it doesn't cover up any more of my letters. Just trying to straighten this out a little bit more. All right, so that is it for what I'm going to do with this. And like I said, I can just keep switching things up in here all year long, and that's my favorite kind of DIY to do. So now I'm just going to take three of these boxwoods. This is there. They're the mainstay boxwoods. You can find these at Walmart. I don't know what they are now. When I first started getting them, they were like a dollar eighty-eight or something like that. I think they were actually under a dollar when I first started getting them. But like everything else. They have gone up, and I'm just going to stick these in here. Just that simple. Make this nice and full. Let me see. Hang on one second here, guys. Let me raise this up just a little bit. Okay, not be able to see what I'm doing. Sorry. All right. And um, that's it. I'm just going to stick those in there like this. And then this is going to make a nice big arrangement. You could even go with four in here if you wanted to, but I think three will be plenty. So I'm going to take three of these lemons. Now these I got on Amazon. You get ten of them in here. Um, I'll try to put the link below. Um, but these are really nice lemons. And um, they all have like a hole. Well, they don't have a hole. I'll show you here in a second. This one, they have like this little green stem, and I'm just going to pull that out and then I'm going to use three of these little skewers that you can get at Dollar Tree. And I am going to stick that right up there in my lemon. And I'm just going to place these little guys right in here. So I have like a little lemon tree. <laughs> I just thought this would be fun. And I'm just going to stick close. I don't want you sticking out of there. I want you in with this stuff. There we go. Just peeking out of there, and then I am just going to add one more back here. And that is it. That is all I'm going to do for this little lemon decoration. I'm going to bring one up here in the front more. I don't know. You can mess around with it however you want, but I think that is going to look so cute out on my shelf with some of my other lemon um, decorations that I've been making. So that was it for my little DIY. I'll take a nice picture of this and put it at the end. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little Dollar Tree haul and this really quick and easy DIY project. And I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.